Hi everyone, today we'll talk about the basic functions of a function generator and how it can be used to produce simple waves. So first off, here's our function generator and to start off you might need to turn on the power button and right now it's on, so here's the power button. Okay, And there are two outputs to the function generator and for the purpose of this video we'll be only taking this one on the right and this terminal is best used for general purposes. So the function generator can generate three types of waves and it can be set up here, the middle three buttons on the second row. The first one is a square wave, the second one is a triangular wave, which is the one that's got the light on at the moment, and then the third one is a sine wave. So once you've set up your wave, you can now have a look at the top row, and there are seven buttons on the top row. So the top row will give you different degrees of accuracy to the frequency you want to output. So we'll start off with the first one on the left, and that will give you 5 MHz at most. And then as you move one spot to the, right, to the right, it goes down by a decade, till it, you reach all the way to the end. And that will give you well, 0.5 Hz at least. Okay. So now as we move along, you might want to change the frequency. So as you can see, this goes up and down. So this knob right here will change that. So now I'll show you how to generate a sine wave with about a 10k frequency. So what you want to do now is select the sine wave and, gen and put 10k. Okay, so once you've done that, what I have here is a BNC cable and it has a slot. So what you want to do is align that with the output terminal. Once you push it in, give it a slight twist, a gentle twist, so just so it's secured. And then you take this up and then connect the red lids together. So that's a oscilloscope got here. Okay. So now that's all connected and you can see all the squiggly lines coming up. So as I said, I wanted 10K, so I need to decrease the frequency. So as you can see, there's a K displayed on the very bottom. That indicates the number sitting within the kilo range. And you can also increase and decrease the amplitude of the wave, as you can see. So right here, I'm increasing it and twisting it to the right. And now as I go anti-clockwise, it decreases and your wave shrinks. So that's it. 